Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me. I have been to the thrift store again. I kind of can't help it. I really like vintage sewing machines. I like sewing machines in general, but um, I saw this at the thrift store and I just couldn't help it. It was kind of love at first sight. And uh, I didn't know what it was when I first saw it. Uh, it is a little different than all of my other vintage machines. It's kind of a little bit different shape. The wheel is different, the decals and uh, the plate on the side in the back here, all different. And the cabinet was really different as well. So I didn't really know what I had here. So I pulled out my phone and put in the serial number into the database and found out that it is a Singer Model 66 made in 1928. So that makes her 94 years old. She's pretty old, but she's in great shape for her age. So um, I want to get this fixed up and I wanna sew with her. And I'd like to bring you along for that whole process. Let's take a quick look at what we've got here. Uh, like I said, she's in really good shape. The decals are just incredible for the age of this machine. It's, there's a little bit of wear right across here, but that's normal. That's where you pass your work uh, through. So those decals, especially on these old machines, those are always gonna be worn off. There's a little bit of pin rash right across the top here, but uh, it is not really into the decals. So that's awesome. The, um, let's see, the wheel, I haven't really looked at this a whole lot, so we're gonna kind of do this together here. It does turn, I, I wanted to turn it in the store before I even decided to buy it. And it does make some noise when it turns, so I think it's just really dry, it needs some oil. The uh, bobbin mechanism here, it, it does click down, but the tire is in really bad shape. So we're gonna do some work on that. And I think I've got a, a new tire I can replace that with. The motor, I'm hoping the motor works. I don't know, we'll see. We'll plug it in at some point and see, but the motor is not even attached here. It's just kind of hanging on the back here. And as you can see, the light is not attached as well. So we'll get that all fixed up. And uh, I do believe the presser foot works. It does have a bobbin in it, and it actually has thread in it as well. So um, that's, that's a plus, a small plus. And uh, you know, when you buy these old machines in a thrift store, you never know what you're up against. Somebody donated this for a reason, and uh, I just hope that, I hope it works. If it doesn't, we're gonna get it working. Real quick, I wanna show you this cool cabinet. This was, one of the reasons I wanted to bring this home. This cabinet is just unbelievable. And you know, I was looking uh, online to see if I could figure out what kind of cabinet this is. I really have no idea. So if any of you know any, have any information about this cabinet, please leave a comment below because I would like to uh, find out a little bit more about this. All of the other cabinets I've seen this style of machine uh, originally come in have a fold out uh, tabletop. This one does not. So check this out. It is just so cool how this folds down in here and there is inset hinges all along here. Uh, so this comes out. There's these little brackets here that the machine sits on. But when you fold this out, those depress and uh, kind of get out of the way and then that comes out like that. So check this out. We're gonna get this machine down in here real quick. And voila, it's just beautiful totally smooth. Now you can see that somebody tried to sand this down already. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, extra sanding and we'll probably maybe get a coat of stain on this and make it look all nice, nice and pretty again. And it's got a nice knee lever under here as well. And the foot pedal is mounted on the side inside there as well. So uh, we'll see if we can get this machine back up out of here real quick. I just love how quickly you can get this out of here it is just 
really cool. So that's the cabinet. Uh, that's the machine. That's everything that we are up against here. And uh, I think I'm just going to spend some time and get the wheel off, get into here, make sure everything's nice and clean. Look at the underside as well. It didn't look too dirty, but everything just really needs uh, kind of a, a real quick cleaning. And oh, and I want to show you this door too. I almost forgot this. Look at this cool door. It's a little dusty, but uh, it looks like there's a little bracket, a little metal bracket here for an oil can as well. So another feature that I couldn't find on any of the other tables that I've done in my research. So anyway, let's get this thing all uh, cleaned up, oiled, and we'll get this cabinet spruced up as well. And uh, we'll see what we can come up with. We'll try to make her sew in the end. Let's get started. All right, so it's time to start taking stuff apart here. And I think I'm going to start with this bobbin assembly and, uh, and this uh, belt guard here. It looks like it's all attached. So I am just going to, I think it's just this one screw and that wasn't even a very tight, tight screw there. So that was cool. I'm just gonna slip this right off of here and it is pretty dirty. So we're gonna just give this a nice good clean in here. bobbin tire here. We'll see if we can slip this on here. Shouldn't be too hard. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's going to work out much better. Good, good. Okay, I think that piece is a lot cleaner than what we started with. That's awesome. All right, we're going to set that one aside here. Next is going to be this stitch length knob here. And it is really hard to turn. It uh, definitely needs lubricated. So I, that is about as far as it wants to come out. So I'm just gonna get some oil on here and see if we can get this one moving a little better, a little easier. That's better already. Now this machine does not have reverse. I don't believe they were uh, putting reverse on machines back this early. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but I, I, that's what I'm under the impression of. So we got stitch length regulator, and that is about all we've got right here. And that seems to be moving just a little better. Still pretty tough, but I think when we get this oil worked around in there, we're going to be in good shape. It's definitely better than it was. Oh yeah, there we go. That's nice and smooth now. OK, 
Good, good. Okay. And this knob is really dirty. I don't know if I'm going to be able to shine that up any better. We'll see if we can at least get some of this old oil dissolved off of here. a little better it just looks like the the finish is kind of just coming off of the front of that so I don't think that's going to get any better uh, than it is but uh, it's definitely a lot cleaner than it was got some of that old oil dissolved off of the inside of that little knob there and uh, she's definitely turning better than than she was before so we're in good shape there Okay, get that crank back down a little bit. All right, so I think the next thing we need to do is uh, take this wheel off and take a look at uh, what's going on inside there, make sure it's all oiled, and uh, make sure the clutch is working properly, all that good stuff. Actually, it looks like it is, so that's wonderful news. Um, but you can hear it, it needs some oil it needs a little bit of love there so uh, we also need to get the motor mounted and this machine also needs a belt and I do have a belt that I believe will fit on this machine so uh, we need to get the motor mounted the belt back on after we get the wheel back on and then uh, get this light mounted uh, back up onto the back as well. So I need to turn the machine around uh, so you can see what's going on there. So see you back here in just a minute. All right, so next thing we need to do is take this wheel off. So I'm just gonna loosen this little set screw here. Came right off. That was probably the easiest wheel I've ever taken apart. That was cool. All right, a little bit of dust and dirt on that, but not too bad. And it sounds better already, so I think that this just needed some oil on it. Real quick though, I'm going to clean up our parts here before we get that oiled and put back together. Okay, so you can see this motor is not even attached here. It's just kind of hanging by this one uh, bolt here, bolt or screw, whatever. It's kind of both. So I think before I get this tightened on here, I want to take it off. I want to inspect our wires that are going into uh, the motor here with right underneath this little uh, plug-in area and that'll give me an opportunity to kind of clean underneath here as well if this is out of the way so taking a look underneath here it doesn't look like I've got any bare wires here. These look like they're uh, cloth covered as opposed to uh, the wires that were coming out of my 201 uh, a couple videos back. Those had kind of a, a rubber sheathing and they had melted 
and uh, just made a huge old mess and we had to kind of fix all the wiring on that machine. But this, uh, even though it's, this is a much older machine, doesn't appear to have that uh, type of issue. They're a little dirty in here, but um, no, no real issues here. So that's nice. Um, wiring issues are really not ever that much fun. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of take my cloth here and kind of just get this dirt wiped out of here. leave it loose for now because uh, I'm going to need to be able to move it around when I get that belt on. I'll get this on next and before I do so I want to get some oil on this because I think this is what was making all that noise when we were uh, operating the wheel before. It was just really, you could just tell it was really dry. And I'm going to put a drop in here as well. Just one little drop and then I'm just going to kind of swirl it around with my finger just to make sure it's all sliding around nicely there. All right. Okay, so tabs out, and I think we're going to do probably like that. Whoops, and we'll see where our set screw lands. Engaged, disengaged. Ooh, still making some noise. That's okay, we got a lot of stuff to still oil. So I bet by the time we're done here, that noise is gonna go away. There's a lot of mechanisms down in here that need some love as well. Okay, so. I need to get my belt. And 
this is a new belt. It's kind of a stretchy belt. I hope this one is going to uh, work on here. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll get it on here and see if it's if it's a go. If not, I think I've got an old belt that I took off of an older machine that I can try. And I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I'm just going to get that baby on there the best I can. And uh, that's pretty tight. It's a little tighter than I would like a belt to be, honestly. But we'll, uh, we'll try it. And if it doesn't work, then we'll get the other one on here. just want to get this in a position where I can tighten it down. And I don't know. There, that's probably, there we go. That's where I want it. Um, that's what I need right there. Just a little bit lower. Okay, and I think that belt's gonna work. I don't know, we're gonna find out. When we get this all back together and fire it up, we'll see. Um, that motor's on there good. Yeah, she's on there good, so. I think we are probably in good shape there. Now, um, I believe next we need to rotate the machine around. We'll get into this little area here, and that is where our light is going to reattach to the machine. And uh, while I have this off, I'll go ahead and show you. This honestly looks like the original bulb. It is just dark as heck and look at this thing um i have no idea if it still works we'll we'll find out um it's pretty corroded on the bottom if anything um i think i've got an old a, a new led light uh, that i can put in here we'll give that a shot if this one doesn't work but um boy she's sure showing her age there on that bulb we'll we'll just pop her right back in there and find out if it works so we'll get the machine turned around and we'll just continue here. All right, got the machine turned around a little bit here so you can see better. I am going to take this off and we'll take a look at what we got inside of there. This little badge is just in great shape. There's a little bit of dirt, maybe some old oil or something down here. Um, little tiny bit dirty on the inside but not bad I mean it's just I love the uh, the design on this and on this plate here on the end it's just just beautiful very unique okay so I hope you can see in there okay you know it's really not that dirty in here I see a little bit of dust on this one main mechanism here but overall it looks fairly clean inside here so that's wonderful news just kind of get that dusted out and this is pretty dirty right around this edge here so we'll just kind of let that oil dissolve that off. And that's the screw that will hold the light in right here. So that's pretty genius that they kind of 
integrated all of that together here. Now that I have this open, oh, you can see how dirty that was right around that, this area here. Not anymore. All right, that's much better. So now that I have this opened up, I am going to squirt some oil in there on all of those moving parts. Gosh, it sounds better already. <laughs> I think having that belt on there helped that a little bit. Now this is the first machine, the first vintage singer that I have that has this mechanism. Hopefully you can see that rotating kind of, kind of back and forth like this. Um, that's a little bit different uh, in its operation inside there. So that's pretty cool. I love opening these up and seeing how they work and kind of seeing all their differences. So we're just going to get some oil in on these little areas. You know, there's oil ports up here, which I will, you know, obviously oil the machine uh, as time goes on through those ports instead of doing it this way. But since I have this opened up and I can see all of these moving parts, I think this is a little bit better way of doing it. I know that these mechanisms in here haven't had oil on them for years and years. So I think is looking pretty good. One more little spot right in here. Good, good. Okay. Feels smoother already, so that's great news. I don't think I missed anything in there. Okay, so I'm going to clean this little guy up before we get it back on. we're going to have to take this motor off to get this light up high enough to reach its screw hole. Um, looks like the cord right now it's coming under the motor needs to kind of go right back behind the motor. So we'll flip around here and see if we can get that fed through there a little better. All right, so I was able to get the wire rerouted uh, back behind the motor for this light, and I got the light attached here, got this back plate put back on, and um, that's all, all buttoned up back there. Now we are just on to this part. I'm going to take this plate off here, and we're going to see how dirty it is underneath here. Oh, actually, I don't even need to take that one off. That's just this thumb screw right here. And it's really, it's not that dusty. It's got some old uh, dried up oil and stuff on here. And it's, I guess it's a little dirty underneath here. So we'll get that all cleaned up. 
And what do we have going on in here? I hope that you can see that. I'll get a little more light on it here. It's not too dusty. Um, I have taken this plate off of many other machines and it is just full of dirt and dust in here. And this one is really just not that bad. So we'll just do a little bit of cleanup here and make sure that it is all nice and lubricated in here. Yeah, there's not much in here at all. Okay, so now we are on to the underside of the machine. I've got the machine tilted back here in the cabinet, and it looks like it's sitting there nicely, just all by itself, nice and sturdy. So we can go ahead and just uh, work on it from here. And first, I'm going to just kind of go through real quick with a brush and get all of the dust out of here. It's really dirty down in here still, so I'm just going to brush all the dust right down into that oil pan below, and I'll clean that out later. This underside here really isn't that dirty. There's just kind of a, a nice fine layer of dust kind of all across it, but there's no major uh, cobwebs or anything like that. No, no huge dust bunnies under here. Just a nice fine layer, which is expected. This is a really old machine and I'm sure it has spent many years just sitting, not being used. So uh, this is to be expected. I have certainly seen much dirtier machines. The uh, Singer, 1886 Singer, a couple videos back was a lot worse than this one. <clears throat> if you haven't seen that video, go back and look. That was sure a, a treasure to uh, find and, and fix up. She turned out beautifully. And this one will as well, I am sure. All right, I think I've got the majority of that just kind of wiped off. And we'll just go through here and anywhere that there is a, a moving part here, I'm going to just put a little bit of oil on. as I'm turning the wheel. The underside of this machine is fairly simple compared to some of the other models. Like the 201 has got a big uh, gear system right here that we had to uh, grease up real well with some white lithium grease. And uh, 
That machine also had a uh, feed dog drop here. And this machine does not have those features. This is a lot simpler design here. some serious progress here so I think the last thing we need to do is uh, let's see we'll flip the machine back down here and I am going to uh, kind of move her around a little bit get a better shot for you guys and I think the next thing I'll do is uh, just kind of finish oiling through all the ports. You know, I, I did it from inside here, the wheel and in here, but I'm just going to stick a drop down in the ports just to be safe. I just want this moving all nice and, and smoothly before we give it a go. And uh, lastly, after I do that, I am going to just give her a nice uh, wipe down with uh, oil all over the whole body here. Uh, be real careful around the decals and uh, just make her shine, make her, make her pretty. After that, I think we're gonna plug her in and see if we can make her so. So stick around, see you back here in a minute. All right, moving right along. Just gonna get drop of oil down in all these little oil ports here just to be sure that everything's got what it needs good good oh yeah much better and it's not making that crazy noise now when I turn the wheel. So that's cool. That's a plus. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. I think. I think I'm going to use some of these cool little cotton swab pads. I, these are really nice for wiping down the body of the machine. So um, we'll just go around here and shine this old girl up real nice. Make her pretty again. She is looking beautiful now. So I'm going to go get some thread. We're going to plug this baby in, thread her up, see if we can make her sew. All right, so just to recap real quick, we took off the wheel, took off the bobbin assembly, Got that all cleaned up. I did get this uh, mounted back on here, this belt garden bobbin assembly. Uh, replaced the little bobbin tire. So that seems to all be working properly. Uh, we got a new belt, got the motor back on, got the light mounted back on here. If you remember, it was just kind of dangling here. Uh, we got this part all cleaned out in here the bobbin assembly and underneath all cleaned out and lubricated. It is turning really, really nicely now. Definitely not making the uh, weird noises it was making when it was completely dry. 
So I think we are ready to give this a go. I have it all threaded up. I have some contrasting thread in there, contrasting from the fabric I'm using, so we can kind of assess what the stitches look like. And I think we're ready to plug this in and see if she'll uh, sew something for us. I didn't see any issues with the wiring, so I'm hoping that it is just going to be fine and it won't shock me or anything like that. So I bet we're going to be okay. So far, so good. We'll see if that old light bulb works. Haha, <laughs> it sure does. That's amazing. Still might put a new LED in there because that's not very bright, but very cool. Glad that all works. Um, okay, so I think we are ready to give this a go here and see if she'll stitch something for us. I don't know. I just kind of guessed on the tension. Uh, just kind of have it right in the middle here. This machine is, uh, because of its age, it doesn't have the tensioner that has the, the little number dial on it. So you just got to kind of guess, you know, that you're kind of right in the middle there. So this machine came with a foot and a needle. Didn't change that out or anything. I am just going with what it came with. We'll see if it'll do something for us. Ha ha ha. Nice. Ooh. Cool. Nice and smooth. And my goodness, those stitches look great. Wow. Um, I, it looks like my tension, top and bottom tension is just fine the way it is. So that's wonderful. Uh, I hope you can see that. We'll uh, adjust our stitch length here a little bit. I think that might make it longer. And the stitch length doesn't have a dial on it either. You just got to kind of know which way you're going. Yeah, that is bigger and that is just wonderful. Wow, this thing stitches beautifully. Nearly a hundred years old and just still going strong and beautiful stitching. That's awesome. We'll see if we can... I'm sure going through two layers is going to be just as good as one. We'll give it a go here. Wonderful. That is just amazing. I am just, I am super amazed at this machine. It is just, it's beautiful. It stitches beautifully. I, I couldn't be happier. I can't believe I found this at a thrift store. Um, it is just, it is amazing. All right. Well, I am going to take my time and make this cabinet just absolutely beautiful. I will, uh, Give it a good sanding across the top a little bit more. I've still got to clean out the whole inside, the oil pan and around the foot pedal and all that stuff, but I'm gonna take my time. This is going to be a uh, beautiful piece that will likely sit in my living room and I want it to just be perfect and beautiful. So I'm gonna take my time and, and make this cabinet just uh, shine up just like this machine did. So I'll do that on my own time. Um, thank you so much for coming along with me on this little journey. And I just really enjoy showing these vintage machines to you all and getting to fix them up with you. It's just been a lot of fun. So until next time, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll just see you on the next one.